Welcome to Sports Circle. This is a place where we discuss track and field in its entirety. Now, I want to discuss um, a matter that I saw a few days now floating around YouTube that has troubled me, you know, to the core. And I know it has troubled a lot of persons. Some people is saying that it's just deserved, but in my opinion, that has nothing to do with justice. I want to play this video before of Elaine Thompson's interview, a specific part of it that I want to play, and I want you guys to listen to it. All right? This is the final call for the man one of the beaters. I still hang on, I almost gave up. But, you know, I have faith and I came out here. I cried most morning, I drove my car for going on my cried. I cried most morning, I drove my car for going on my cried. God speak to men saying, can I give a because I take it this far. Bothering yours is something new because I know it can be there such a so challenge. There is so much thing happening, I don't yeah. know what's going on. The Hercules is still there. I picked up a shin splint, I picked up a knee injury, and it shut down my entire body where I could not even do nothing. So. There's a Bible verse that says, and let me read it for you. It's Matthew 6 and verse 14 says this if you forgive those who sin against you your heavenly father will forgive you what that is saying to us jesus christ is saying that if we do not learn to forgive others then we ourselves will not get forgiveness i saw on the internet the other day where um a few creators like myself had this up where they were saying that Elaine Thompson and coach Francis saying that he did not want her back and she's not welcome at the club and all kind of different things. Oral Tracy brought a few things to light where he said he, he peeped over the fence and he had friends over the fence who told him things. All right, some of the stuff that he said. I agree with him and some of the things that he said in that in in his video I really did not agree but nevertheless that is life we will disagree with some and we will agree with some but the video that came out the other day saying that coach Francis said that he does not want her back Elaine Thompson she's not welcome back at his club he will take anybody else, but he doesn't want her back at his club. A sports analyst there, I don't remember his name, said that he personally spoke to Coach Francis. And Mr. Francis said that he doesn't want her back. She's not welcome. I am saying this from a humanistic point of view. And I know a lot of persons is bashing Elaine Thompson and saying that she said things that she, like she don't need people and she don't have to talk to people and people they are just beating her down is not everybody but I want to say to you that this could have been your sister this could be your mother we all say things at time when we are angry we all say things of at times that we are not proud of but do we want these things to be used as a weapon as a strap to beat us all the day of our life no i read the scripture first before i begin where is the forgiveness this was the same lady who years ago who brought pride who brought fame to to the jamaican people in the sense that double double gold medal um she has achieved a lot 1054 seconds she is a great athlete she's going to go down into the book as one of the greatest athletes in the interview with her she said she cried many days in her car she said that something is broken and i'm saying the ladies at the lowest the ladies at the lowest why still try to beat down somebody when they are at the lowest it is obvious that something she has made some wrong and bad decisions but it's not for us to keep on beating her down she need help i'm telling you right now that woman is nearing depression and when depression steps in all kind of things including self-harm and all kind of things that can happen 
if tomorrow we hear that something bad happened to her some of you how do you live with yourself knowing that some of the word that came from your mouth regarding this woman I am saying where is the forgiveness I am not condoning what she said but I'm not I will not condone what some of you are saying on the internet about her it is wrong and you need to stop it she is a human being and she has made mistakes but let's help listen we need to help her up we need to find help her find a coach encourage her all right we all say things that we will regret. Your children say things that, that, that frustrate you and irritate you sometimes. Your boss said things that frustrate and irritate. What do you do? Do you walk away from your job? No. I am saying she needs help and we need to help her. We need to help her instead of coming with some of the foolishness that some of you guys are saying. At the end of the day, she is an athlete. But she's also a human being that has slipped up that has messed up and i'm saying today tonight we need to stop sometimes if you can't say anything positive keep our mouth shut this is what happened to us sometime shelly and fraser could not run the other day and many of you come on on, on, on the internet and on, on, on youtube and saying all kind of things about her but she's finished and she's hiding and you see one was lifting up her a few weeks ago we need to stop it come off the bandwagon have love in our hearts and this is what is missing in our country jamaica we need to have compassion for people people are dying now and people are videoing people dying and laughing just because they want to post it on youtube i'm saying alien thomas is a broken vessel we need to rescue her and if you can't rescue her keep your negative comment to yourself i agree she messed up but it's not for you to take it and continually to beat this woman. What if she was your sister? Would you come into the media and say some things that you say? What if that was your daughter? What would you do? Wouldn't you go and see trying to find help for her? I am saying we need to help her. Sports Circle 345. Thank you very much for watching. God bless you. What good my friends.